What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video I'm gonna make a beat, another beat, using MPC Studio, alright? So if this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, smash the like button, and share this video to everybody, alright? So without further ado, let's jump right in. I've already fired up my MPC software right now, however, I don't want to use stock plugins in this video because I've already made a video about using stock plugins. Today we're gonna go and use third-party plugins like Contact and so on. I don't have my Contact library showing up in my VST folder. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can get MPC to find those third-party plugins, alright? Okay, when I go here, I'm only seeing MPC, MPC plugins and so on, right? Okay, we don't want that. I mean, these are great plugins, but I also have a lot of other third-party plugins that I want to use. So here's what you have to do. Go to the edit, go to preferences, and then from here, go to plugins, and you can see that it's kind of empty at the moment. Hey Siri, turn on, do not disturb. All right, sorry about that. Anyway, I'm gonna go, go ahead and find my VST folders to go to the C drive. C and I'm gonna go to program files and then from here I'm gonna go to VST plugins right so I'm gonna open this one and I'm gonna check on this and I also have another plugin folder let me go to C drive again program files uh, native instruments let's try that and another one I'm gonna go to the 86 which is the 32 bit because sometimes some of the plugins is not available here in MPC because they only support VST2 at the moment. So some of my plugins are VST3 only, like Halion. I cannot load Halion in MPC. So that sucks to be honest. Anyway, now let's go and scan right now. So we're going to have to wait for a while until it scan everything. And then we are good. Okay, so it's updating all those plugins right now. Arturia Software Center, yeah, let's do it. So it's gonna take some time, but once it is done, it is done. Now we can actually use it for all your projects. This is definitely awkward. Okay, now the scan is complete. Let's go and find some plugins. Yeah, there you are. So these are all my plugins right here, and I'm good right now. Let me see if I can load up my contact. Yep, let's do it. Let's load contact library today. Okay, I've loaded up my contact library now. It sounds like this. Yeah, let's try that. Shall we? Nope. Okay, something like that. I'm going to use the retrospective recording. Let me just move this real quick. Okay, I like that. Then we have these two bars of loop. I think that is good enough. And I'm going to go and just copy. Okay, this one, I'm going to maybe change the note. Let's try a different note here. Cool, I like that. Let's just name this guy real quick, guitar. Okay, I'm gonna add another track. And let's add a bass now. I'm gonna use a bass guitar. And I'm gonna be using the same contact. Rukabaka bass.
that works. So let's try that. Just move this to C. like that. Now we got the melody and a little bit of chords in the melody and the bass. So let's add the chords now. Okay, let's go to the next track. Let's have some chords. I don't know what I'm going to do though. I think I don't want to use contact. Let's use something else. Uh, I have no idea what to use. Let's try Absinthe. Absinthe has a lot of cool sound and I've been using it quite a lot. So let's try that. Let's try that. Okay, the bass is kind of loud, so let's go ahead and drop the bass. Like, drop this like so. Let's double the length of the sequence. Now we have 8 bars. And now it's time for the drums. Let's go. Cool, huh? Let's record the snap now. The kick. Clap at the end here. I don't. Let's remove this. Yeah, I think that sounds fire. This beat is done. I don't think I don't. I need anything else right now. Next, I have four elements of this beat. So we have the bass, the guitar, the chords, and the drums. That's all. It's not much going on in here. So now, if I want to arrange this song, obviously I want to have the bass and the guitar to start the song, okay? So it's gonna be like this. Okay, the next thing that I will do is to add the chords, but I will remove the guitar, right? So this is usually for the first verse. So it's gonna sound like this. So it starts like this with the verse, you know the story, now we hit the drum. Then the 
the second verse and so on uh, so that's how I would arrange this beat. So the beat is ready right now. All, all we need to do is write a top line melody. So that's all for today guys. If you guys find this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notification, smash the like button and share this video to everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.